Well, hello. So this is Judy from Dish with Judy, and I am here with my good friend, Paula Mazur. She is an artist, and um, I want her to come on and talk a little bit about some of the different projects that she's working on. And I think she has some really, really good gift giving ideas as well for over the holidays. So um, Kala, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and some of the things you're working on? Uh, sure, thank you for having me, Judy. It's, oh, you're it's welcome. Really nice to chat with you and we do get distracted and start talking about a whole bunch of other stuff. So <laughs> you'll have to keep me on track. I will try. So um, these days I'm just doing, uh, yeah, we both get off track. So these days, um, I'm doing some online classes for different, you know, organizations because we can't, I, I do paint sessions in person, but you know, with everything locked down, I can't go out. So it's been nice because I can still reach the community and, you know, online. So yay for technology. Mm -hmm. it's, worth, it's worth the um, frustration trying to learn how to use it. And, um, you know, everybody's at home. So I've just been working on, you know, uh, small gift items because right now I think it's uh, really important that people focus on kind of affordable things. It's, we don't really have the luxury of, you know, going out of our way to, for really expensive and pricey gifts this year with the way things are going. So I was just um, doing some of those and I did uh, uh, some handmade cards and, um, so the good thing about these are that it really breaks my heart because cards, you know, there's only a certain amount you can collect. And after that, it just becomes too much. And you've got to start going through those boxes and, you know, just keep the ones that are really meaningful and you do have to dump out the extra. So I thought it would be really nice to have a card that doesn't end up in recycling. So what I did was I made this one and that is like, it's a little ornament. Yeah, hanging off of a branch, but it's actually a resin coaster. So, you know, after the holidays, you know, after you start putting your cards away and everything, you can use that for your coffee cup. Oh, oh, you mean it's, oh, I see. It's a coaster. Yeah, you, can just, you can just take it off. I see. Oh, okay. So it's functional. Nice. Yeah. So I did that. And then I did some original paintings. I don't know if you can see them. They're, they're in their plastic wraps. So. Yeah. Is, is it watercolors? Uh, these are acrylic on watercolor paper. Okay. And um, I put, you know, made sure they have this little frame around them and they all fit into standard five by seven frames. So, you know, they become part of your holiday decor rather than at the end of the season, putting them into a recycling box. It just becomes a little piece of art that you can take out next year. Yes. And, you know, put up with part of, and I tried to make them very like- That's really pretty. The nostalgic winter kind of, you know, all the winter feels. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at the bear, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one is my favorite. I really love polar bears and this one turned out so nice. Polar bears, really yeah. Nice, and I love the background and the colors. Yeah, it was, I had a lot of fun doing them and- I, Oh, I think I, frozen. Okay, I've got so you. I usually do. Uh, you're back. Oh, you're back. Are you, is it okay now? Yeah, you oh, were okay. frozen for a bit. So. so, okay. Yeah, the internet is just like up and down these days. I guess everybody's on all the time. So, yeah. um, I usually do the series of winter birds every year, and they sell out at Christmas at Christmas market. I do so. I did them on cards. They're really nice birds. Yeah, thank you. Can I so show? Can I show my bird? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, please do. Okay, I do own a original an original Kalamazer so this is mine it's a hummingbird and also can you just quickly explain what you did because uh, this is that what was it called Kinsuka? Kinsuka art yeah so I like the concept of you know um, things having permanence and rather than um, you know throwing things out or uh, things losing their value uh, there's that Japanese art where they take a piece of ceramic or pottery that's broken and they will put it back together again with gold paste and that just kind of makes it more valuable rather than throwing it out it's kind of added character so what I did was I painted the picture and then I tore it all up and I made a she video ripped and up her painting <laughs> I saw I saw it because she did a she did a video and so the bird was all ripped up yeah. and I remember I was like what is she doing and she showed the video and she ripped it all up yeah, I got a lot of um, messages from people. They were 
they were really upset. They were like, why would you tear that up? And I'm like, just wait, just wait. But she, but she put it back together. Right. And then and they, yeah. The gold, the, gold, together. the gold paint, right? Yeah. Which is really cool. Something different I'd never seen before. So yeah, I thought it was, it, it would be nice to, uh, because I've only seen it done for like um, ceramic and pottery. Yeah, pottery, right? Yeah. Craft pottery and things like that. And they also use the gold, don't they? They use the gold yeah, they use fill gold. in. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I thought it would be really interesting to do a couple of pieces like that. And um, that was one of the pieces I did. Yeah. And I've also been doing, um, yeah, I do these, especially in the holiday season, season or like if anybody wants to get them custom made. I do resin coasters because right. I really like shiny things. So. Yeah. so that was on one of your cards, right? So when people buy yeah. them, they can take that off and use it. And use it, yeah. And these are just like, I've, I'm doing them separately as well. Right, because they can I buy it like a they, set or something? Yeah, they come yeah. in So I find they make really good gift items and I get sold out every year. So I do them on order if anybody wants a particular color or you know what I have I right think. so how do people um buy from you like do they do you you have a website of course right yeah yeah I um most of the stuff I sell from directly from Instagram or Facebook whoever is interested in whatever they can just contact me on Facebook or Instagram yeah. and um and you are known on Instagram as the starving artist, yeah, yeah, which is a food. really cute name. I love food. And I mean, it works both ways because people who like food are always hungry. And also, you know, it's a very stereotypical thing to call an artist starving because, you know, <laughs> yeah, art supplies are expensive. That's why. They are. Yeah. 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 And, and it's true. Kala and I do share a passion for food. Yeah. So we've yeah, been out to places together to sample different types of foods and um and what was it the last one we were at was at the G uh, egyptian really, restaurant Mas Masra. oh yeah 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 Masra. oh my gosh that was so that was good, really good. That yeah was so really again good. if you're um if you're looking for food they do do like um i think probably curb pickup and as well as up and you can go and pick it up it would be really great uh, this holiday i was thinking rather than you know spending all that time in the kitchen it would be nice if we could support local restaurants by, you know, finding out ahead of time Absolutely, what they're doing yes. for the holidays and, and, you know, just get something. Just get yeah, something absolutely. Dinner or whatever, it would help them too. want your favorite restaurants to still be yeah. around in the, yeah. in the new year. And I know they're having a really hard time. Yeah. The, the whole restaurant industry, the food industry. I mean, well, everybody is everybody because knows. of the pandemic. But, yeah. but I mean, but, food is something that, you know, we all enjoy. And I think that's something, just a tiny thing that it hits so hard, with. the food industry. So mm -hmm. um, now just going back to all the things that you work on, I also am wearing, I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is also, a, is, is this resin as well? Or is this, what is this? Because Kala made this necklace as well. So she does do some jewelry and are you frozen again? Yeah. I think we're having internet issues here because oh, oh good, she's back. No. She's back. So okay, so I is this resin or what is this? Yeah, it it's is resin, and I I do little pieces to make them look like little geo slices, and I think they make really good pendants. So I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's really yeah. Oh, yeah, there you can see the sparkle now. Yeah. Uh, it's very pretty. And also I have another one that I bought as well from her and it's a blue one. So that it would have, it would have gone really nice with my, my top as well. Yeah. See, they're really pretty. I like one. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So she I also has making them. I like this. Is it just necklaces? Sorry? Do you, is it just necklaces or do you have bracelets too? Um, I, I haven't done any bracelets. I, because okay. they're usually bigger pieces like geo slices are kind of big yeah. and it's just kind of like a statement piece. And yeah, I love shiny just, stuff, so it just made sense to me. Yeah. So, so this this is also on your uh, website, or do you have an Etsy store, or is this uh, just on your your Instagram and website? And she's frozen again. <laughs> I am so sorry. She's she's gonna come back. She will be back and just yeah. yeah oh, I, there she is. I I I can yeah. hear you, but uh, oh, there I you do. go. I put most of my stuff on my Instagram and okay. I reopened my Etsy shop. I have my watercolor paintings up there. I haven't put anything else up yet. It's just, it does take a lot of time. Nicole so, has also had her 
shown at the Mississauga Art Gallery and what what other places? Oh, yeah. your murals. We have to talk about your murals. Yeah. 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 The murals up around Mississauga in two different parts. And also I do the bell boxes. So I've got some bell boxes up around Mississauga. So tell us well, what a bell box is. Oh, the traffic signal box kind of things. Yeah, yeah. so you just paint pictures on these Yeah, boxes. they're usually around the, the, they're, well, they're not traffic signal boxes, but they're usually around there. So like on, I just, it's on the street, so people can yeah. actually drive by and see it. Yeah, you could drive by and see them. Yeah. Where's um, one of those boxes? Um, so there's two on here, Ontario, just before Britannia, mm. I think it is. And yeah, there's two and they're like right opposite each other. So it's nice because they, they kind of face each other. Yeah, but the mural that I saw at Lakeview, Duania, Peel and I went down to see it. It's gorgeous. Now Thank she's you. one of several local artists, but hers has like the, the hummingbird was there. Yeah. I saw the hummingbird and there was like um, bees because you have a thing for bees. Yeah, I love and, bees. And uh, it was a, a, a nature picture. I wish we had sort of a photo of it that we could show you but it's oh yeah, yeah well I you go to go to her instagram and, and you yeah. you'll probably see a picture yeah. of it and i put the process video up on youtube as well so oh that's right so she has a youtube channel so there is like one of these like time lapse type of uh, videos yeah. yeah and it's it's really gorgeous how she just starts painting with like blank canvas and then it starts to become this beautiful um nature scene it's really gorgeous with flowers and sunflowers and yeah it's really nice and yeah. animals or insects yeah yeah um okay so again the reason why i'm doing these um these video calls or these uh, recorded calls is because i'm trying to highlight 12 local um entrepreneurs i've met some wonderful wonderful people who do such great things. So originally I started off as a dish with Judy, which was like, I was, I started interviewing people involved in food. And then I thought, you know what, it should actually extend to other things too, because it is the holiday season. We're all shopping online because of the pandemic. So why not, you know, check out what our friends are doing. And so Kala um, is one of my first ones. Oh, actually I, I did do Mona Bella yesterday. Who She does these um, name bracelets, which are really cute, like personalized really nice. Sorry, what was that? They're really nice. Yeah, they are. They're really cute. They're customized um, necklaces. So I just interviewed her yesterday. So I just posted her video up. So I will be posting Kala's up probably today. Um, yeah, and I've got a few more people coming up. Um, the chocolate dipped strawberry people. Who, um, I received mm. a box of uh, from, from Zara Lavi, who, who sold me my glasses. Mm. And so she sent me this box because I gave her a referral. And it was like chocolate dipped strawberries nice. um so anyway so so yeah so everybody please remember to shop local try to support small businesses um yeah i mean it's and, and it's the holiday season so yeah. so there's there's a lot of gifts that we can purchase that are that lovely is, and yeah. personalized like these are personal gifts these are not yeah. you're not going to some big box store and buying the same yeah. thing that everybody else is buying right so is there anything else you want to say Carla, before we sign off here uh, no, just thank you for having me. This was so nice. Oh, thanks. And I appreciate that you're supporting, you know, putting your time and effort to support local. I just love really everything nice. that my friends are doing. So, yes, thank you so much. And so have a great week. Okay. You too, Judy. Bye. Bye.